delicious flavor and we need a little sugar we need some black pepper <music> just like one tablespoon full of oyster sauce and just to remind you oyster, oyster sauce is a little bit like Swedish so if you can't do sweet food eliminate and we want a little bit of dark um, soy sauce some cooking wine after 10 minutes we just Um, if I don't then I'll be sneezing all day from the the um, peppers but you don't want to use a sealed cover to cover your pot you want to use something like a mesh because you want those um, peppers and garlic to sort of um, get that brown pretty color just start searing just before you put in your steak and 
yeah, that's what we are doing here. So we're cutting our steak and we're turning that from side to side, side to side. This does not need a lot of cooking because remember they're so thin, you don't want to overcook them and we cut them that we cut against the grind. So, um, or the grain, sorry, the grain, because of course we don't want our um, meat to be sort of trashy. We want it to be so tender and easy to bite into, so yeah. So we're just gonna let this take, sort of cook for approximately one minute and 30 seconds and then we're just going to remove that from the flame and continue with the cooking and as you cook the steak you want to make sure it's moved about in the pot you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pot you don't want it to burn so that's my reason for moving this about and you can see this is cooking away up close and this is exactly what you want you want it to just moderately brown and not really um, burn or anything. At this point, the beans are cooked and we're extracting them from the back pot over to the steak pot and so we put that in we want to merge all this deliciousness together and now we're going to add some more red peppers bell peppers and we're going to add some more thyme to this dish and we're just going to let this continue cooking and we're just just showing you a close what this is looking like just before it's called cooking. And um, with a warm pot, of course. And you can see the beef is not overdone. And it's not underdone. And so we're going to cook this with the beans for another five minutes or so and then we're going to add all the other ingredients that's going to bring it together with this Mexican dish. Guys, stick around. We're really going to enjoy this. I can guarantee you that. So we're just going to let this cook for another five minutes or so but just before we cover this up we're just going to turn this a little bit to ensure that everything is um, intact and not like getting burned or anything and uh, once we turn this we're just going to cover this pot and let it cook for five or six minutes and then we're going to be back. So after five minutes we're back and we're just going to use some coconut milk or if you have every cream and we're also going to use some cornstarch just thicken this up a little bit and then we're going to let this cook for another two minutes and we are done. So um, we're just going to use the um, tin coconut juice or um, yeah cream but again I said if you have um, coronation milk or heavy cream you can use that also this is a goya um i just want to keep the mexican kind of or let um latino kind of concept theme going here so yeah here we go 
just going to pour do the cornstarch so we just use half a teaspoon of cornstarch here and we're going to pour in the, the, the milk of the coconut cream and we're just going to mix this up this was in the refrigerator so mine is a little bit sort of frozen but you can if yours is at room temperature no worries at all just go ahead use what you have and let's cook <laughs> Once we put in the coconut cream, we're just going to let this cook for approximately five or so minutes. Again, we want all of that, um, since this co co coconut cream was in the refrigerator, it sort of adds that kind of oil, um, you know, um, thickness and whatever it's called. And um, we're just going to make sure that the heat sort of cook this out. and so. We're just gonna pour this into our pot and we're gonna just do this rapidly, turn this rapidly to make sure everything merged together. And not only merged together, all of that cream is cooked out. Once that is done, after five minutes, we are ready to plate this delicious meal. And here we go, guys. Look at this.